What's going on everybody? It's Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. So I want to take a little bit of time in the Saturday to talk about a couple topics and questions that I continually get asked. And the first one is why hasn't AMC squeezed yet? And the second one is what needs to happen in order for AMC to squeeze? So we're going to go over just that guys. Stick around. You're not going to want to miss this. For those of you that are new to the channel, all I ask is that you hit that like button and subscribe to join the family. And if you're interested in joining our private community, it's the first thing in the description. We have over 300 members. We talk stocks all day long. I have my private portfolio over there and we would love to have you. So if you're interested, first link in the description. Let's get into the video, guys. First off, I want to cover a couple of the main topics of why AMC hasn't squeezed yet. And the first one is the availability and the ability to short the stock is still there. And whether that is through naked shorting, dark pools, or natural share availability, the continuance of the shorting is happening as it has been evidenced from the charts, the level twos, and so forth. And that is continuing to drive the stock price down. The second one we're going to talk about is the brokers have not called yet on the hedge funds to cover their short positions, also known as margin call. And if it has, it's only been a very, very small percentage. And lastly, guys, the cost of the interest on the failure to delivers and the shorts that have not been covered is far, far less than the cost it would be for them to totally fold up and let this thing ride okay so you got to think about it from a business standpoint and a couple factors go into it one being they have many many different positions open some of them are, are winning some of them are gaining you know very very high some of them are losing and also they have money continuing to come in cash flow continuing to come in from their client base and it becomes just be a, a big wheel okay so they're trying to be able to figure out what plays they can put into effect to be able to of prevent the big, big hit hitting to their firm. Okay, so let's get into it a little bit deeper, guys. The first thing I want to point out is this article that had come out just yesterday. And basically, it was Citadel Securities had been fined $275,000 for reporting violations after already having a $700,000 fine in 2020. And guys, this is a very, very, very minuscule to them. It is less than a slap on the wrist. And the reason why this one came out is because they reported inaccurate data to FINRA, which is where we get a lot of our short interest from. The reason they do this is because they have more to lose on the actual financial side than they do from the potential of getting fined. Now, just because they got fined means they got caught. It doesn't mean that they don't always do this. It's just like you getting caught. It's the same thing as you speeding. We probably all speed every single day. We don't get speeding tickets every single day. So they do this to be able to salvage another piece of their puzzle and another part of their business that is definitely a bigger risk for them to losing. That's why they continue to do this, okay? So that's the first reason, okay? The second reason is the fact that they have not been yet margin called, all right? And I wanna break it down a little bit further to you of exactly what that means. In regard to margin, in general, hedge funds, they're no different than us. If their holdings drop below the minimum margin requirement, Reg T is 30% for shorts, but some brokers have raised it. They get a margin call. Unlike us, they're not likely to be sold out immediately because they can quickly obtain a line of capital or cash infusion and easily meet the margin call. I won't say that hedge funds can't reach negative equity, but they can survive better than we can. However, don't think for a moment that a hedge funds broker is going to allow them to maintain open positions when the MMR keeps dropping 15, 10, and 5% before beginning to shut them down. So that is what we are waiting for to happen. So I know in certain situations, for example, if I if, if my requirements are 50% margin and I have open positions and all of a sudden those positions, whether it is, I'm only, let's say I'm shorting one stock, but I have 10 other positions. If the value of those 10 positions begin to bring down, eventually I will get a margin call and it won't be for that full amount. It'll be just for a portion of that okay, in order to maintain above that 50% level. So that's exactly what's happened here. Now, I want to also bring this up to you before we're going to, we're going to get into the charts and I'm also going to go over GameStop, but this happened last year and the hedge funds saw increased margin calls and liquidity pressure as markets react to the coronavirus. So as the market began to turn upside down a little bit, there was a lot of fear in the market. Okay, panicking, the economy was going to be get shutting down. And these brokers had said, oh, wait a minute, like we can't afford to take those huge heavy losses and therefore the margin requirement were increased. So this also is a possibility of what could happen, okay, 
if in order to raise that requirement for the hedge funds to cover. But most importantly, I don't believe that this is going to happen to the extent it did, because like I said, that was crazy. We never saw that before. The economy literally shut down. However, the point of it is in order for them to get a margin call, the, in, the margin needs to be, or the requirements have to be increased, okay? So I wanna also talk about this one, guys, and you forget about this, is one of the biggest shorts of all time, short squeezes of all time, okay, was Tesla, is Tesla. All right, they were sitting on a market to market loss of over $40 billion at the end of 2020, and it surged 740%. And the reason why I bring up Tesla is because that short squeeze took a long time to happen, and it lasted a very, very long time. Because what happens is, the price continues to go up and up and up, and then eventually that margin requirement gets increased, and the hedge funds begin to the shorts, let's just say the shorts, not just hedge funds, but the shorts begin to cover and then they make new positions because as they believe, if they're shorting a stock right here and the price goes right here, you better believe it's even more tastier to short and then the same thing when it gets here and so forth. So it begins to be this vicious, vicious cycle as well as you have day traders jumping in on it, driving the price up, buying 100,000 shares, selling it at the peak, riding the short down and continuing to do so. That's what you've got begin to see with GameStop. So let's take a look at the charts. All right, and I'm also gonna go over GameStop right here. So this is the 180 day four hour chart. When you zoom in to just before that last peak that happened, you can see the price went up from $11.95, $12, all the way up to a high right here of $20 and change. Continued down a little bit. This did not call as much as the shorts were continued to be even more out of the money and they had to cover more positions. There was no margin call because the price hadn't gotten up that high. It continued for a little bit. Price actually came up, more buyers getting into it, more people, were aware of what was happening. This is getting into the start of the year. So far, sold off a little bit. Then this day on the 12th of January, as I looked into it, this is when I believe when a lot of buying power went into it. And the difference between GameStop and AMC is <clears throat> the available shares are much, much less. They're sitting at about 70 million versus 450 million. Very, very big difference. You need much less shares in order for the price to be driven up higher. This is when that first initial squeeze happened. Margin requirements were most likely, you know, margin calls were most likely made and therefore the shorts had to cover some of their positions. It continued to happen a little bit and therefore it continued to pop up even higher. Then the day traders started riding it and so forth. And that's why you began to see this huge rocky pattern. What happened was, individuals that didn't that did not cover their positions on the margin call whether they raised capital whether they borrowed money whatever they did they said you know what this isn't going to last and look what happened it got up to a high of 513 and then it began to ride lower some of the shorts probably covered their positions at this time even though thinking at that 40 dollar mark it would go even less so when you bring this over talking about amc Okay, this is this what happened exactly right here. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit further. What happened right here, it began to ride up a little bit. You probably did have some shorts cover. However, like they said, a lot of this was buying power happened on the 26th and the 27th, more specifically the 27th. But a lot of this was just buying power. The sell-off happened, a little bit of a ride up and so forth. So in order for this squeeze, to happen and to continue, okay, the price is going to need to be able to go higher. And the only way to do that is to be able to outlast the shorting. There needs to be more buying power than shorting. And while there are many more buyers than sellers, as you've seen from the charts, the volume and the manipulation that is happening is actually causing the price to continue to go down. And there are many times that they manipulate the price because I did look to myself for many on many specific days as and you know some of these even just recently this last week on the 25th when we had a nice push up it was about 20 25 percent gain well i was looking at the level twos and the manipulation was still happening okay that rapid fire back and forth was still happening however the buying power and the buying pressure was much much higher so inevitably guys that is why amc i hope i didn't explain it too quickly but that is why amc hasn't squeezed yet is because it, they have not been called on yet to really be able to cover all of those shares, okay? And lastly, the price is going to need to be able to be risen for the requirement in order to be risen as well, okay? But this could take a very long time, as you saw with Tesla. It was a much choppy road, which is why Tesla is an insanely volatile stock, okay? So it's not something that's gonna happen in a day or two. Lastly, the Volkswagen squeeze happened in four days. That is a little bit different, okay? but this could take a much, much longer time. So don't be thinking that it's over just because it hasn't squeezed yet, all right? And don't be looking for a specific date for it to squeeze if it is going to squeeze. But inevitably, 
it's going to take more time and we know that the margin requirement needs to be made and that price needs to continue to drive higher in order for it to squeeze all right so guys that's it for this video i hope this gave you a little bit of understanding and explanation of why it hasn't squeezed yet and what needs to happen in order for it to squeeze so that's it for this one i'll see you in the next one